Okay, so this is going to be a video on the chain rule for differentiation. So when we're talking about the chain rule, we will be dealing with functions that are defined as a function within a function. Okay, so you will have met um, this idea of a composite function before, and what that means is that in order to differentiate this, we have to have a special rule that's going to work to do it. So examples of this would be something like um, y is equal to uh, e to the 2x, for example. Okay? Or y is equal to uh, sine of x squared. Or y is equal to... Um, x minus 3 to the 10. All of these use the chain rule in order to differentiate them because ultimately they are functions within functions. So in this one, f of x is e to the x and g of x is 2x. Okay, so the 2x is in the f of x here. Hence that's why it's in the, uh, in the index. Here, the main function is sine, while the function inside is x squared. Here, the f main function is x to the 10, but the function inside is x minus 3. Okay? x minus 3 is being put into f. So each of these are composite functions, so we would require the chain rule in order to differentiate each of them. Now, um, let's see how it works. <coughs> okay, so you start off by thinking about, well, if we use this as an example, we're going to let u be the 2x, effectively um, the g of x here. Okay, the function that is within the other function. So y is now e to the u, okay, because we replace the 2x with u. Now, because we are working with differentiation here, there must be some differentiation involved. So we differentiate u with respect to x, which is 2, okay, 2x differentiates to 2, and we differentiate y with respect to u which is just e to the u. Now, this is where we throw in um, a case where I'm going to be using derivatives um, like fractions. So dy by dx could effectively be seen as dy by du times du by dx, okay? Because the du's would cancel just leaving me with dy by dx. So dy by du is e to the u, and du by dx is 2. Okay, so we get two lots of e to the u. Now u was 2x. Okay, so this is 2e to the 2x. And this is the chain rule in action. Okay. Um, and the next couple of examples will work in very similar ways. So let's go through those as well. Okay, so now we're on to example two. So in this case, um, I set my u equal to the x squared. That is the function inside that I'm looking at. And the function on the outside is sine. So I now have y equals sine of u. Now du by dx is the first derivative of x squared, so that's 2x. And the first derivative of sine is, co is cosine, so that's cos u. So dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. So that's cos of u times by 2x. So I can bring the 2x out to the front. I can ha have the cosine now of u, which was x squared. Okay? 
we might want to put that in a bracket just to make sure that we know that we're talking about x squared here, okay, rather than cosine squared or sine squared. <coughs> but that's how it works. Um, let's look at the final example here. Okay, so now we're looking at this one. Now in this case, the u is what is inside, okay, the x minus 3. So y is equal to u to the 10. x minus 3 differentiates to 1. And dy by du differentiates to 10 u to the 9. So dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. So this is just 10 lots of u to the 9. Okay? So this is using the chain rule. Okay? Three different examples. Now, once you become more and more confident with the chain rule, you probably won't have to set it out exactly like this. So, the quick way to think about how to do it, which is kind of the way that the exam will be leaning towards, is that you look at what is the first derivative of what's inside the function. So 2x, so the first derivative is 2. That comes out to the front, and I have e would differentiate to e, so that would stay the same. So I have 2e to the 2x, okay? And I leave the power alone. This example, I look at the first derivative of what's inside. That comes out to the front. Sine would differentiate to cosine. And what's inside remains the same. So that's 2x cos x squared. <coughs> Last one, dy by dx is equal to, well, I look at the derivative of what's inside, that's 1. Now, something to the power of 10 would differentiate to be 9, uh, sorry, be differentiate to be 10, um, and the, what is inside stays the same, now to the power of 9. So this is 10 x minus 3 to the power of 9. So as you become more confident, you'll be able to do these straight off like this. If, however, uh, you're not so confident and you need to see those steps in order to understand exactly how it works, then by all means use the steps.